Hey everyone, Press Yor here with some Languister Mobile. Uh, so recently I just did the uh, the summons for uh, Subame and Florin uh, Florentia, and uh, went ahead and got them as max as I can possibly get them right now. Um, but before I, and I was going to go ahead and do some uh, awakenings, but before I do that I actually want to go ahead and take a look at the secret store. Uh, so we got all uh, Oliver's uh, unique or exclusive item and Brenda's. Uh, Brenda's isn't too bad, but I just don't really use Brenda right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think next month it's going to be Akka's um, exclusive weapon, and uh, that one is well worth it. Um, it really makes her kit actually kind of work. Um, so it's part of the reason why I've actually been working on getting her um, to six stars, because she'll actually be somewhat usable, usable as a support. In any case, uh, go ahead and quickly show where I'm at on bonds. I'm also like complete, almost broke. I only have like over a million gold left. Let's see. So I'm actually short on fairies, uh, spirits of kindness. So I'm one short of maxing out everything on uh, Subame. And on Florentia, I am. I need to work on our defense bonds, but I'm of course short on keys. I actually had like 300 keys just recently, but I kind of started using them on other characters I haven't maxed out yet. So eventually I'm hope, hoping to get to the point where I actually will just be able to stockpile keys and have everyone maxed out. Um, very similar to how I am with the, the heart uh, materials. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into this. So, uh, Deedlet, Illustrial. And then, of course, Subame and Florentia all have um, awakenings to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the easier ones, because they're easier. So awakening, I have no idea what this is. Uh, so after taking action, make one adjacent friendly unit immune to all debuff effects. So essentially, she's kind of got like a turn one, a one turn uh, gospel passive now. Um, she can do 1.6 times damage. Melee soldiers, of course, attack. Uh, before battle, gain Spirit Dancer when moving all to passable terrain street as forest. In addition, units are unaffected by terrain mobility penalties and are healed for 30%. So, after and then after battle, you can move three spaces, which is really all that's really good. Uh, essentially, it's a replacement for Elven Aura, I believe. Um, now, I think some people I, I don't I don't think I've seen the attack too many times in the recent. Uh, Apex videos I've been watching, but I think that's probably because you end up going like Sea of Miracles and Gossipal, and that means you don't really have the spare, um, you don't have the three points necessary to actually use your awakening skill. So that could be the trade off. So it's a good ability, it's just Deedlet has so many good abilities that you end up not kind of not having a situation where you can actually use her. Alright, awakening. Uh, the Force of No Return is so tiresome, it's time to get out of here, defeat all enemies. Alright. All right, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's a Lotus War versus Lotus War. And of course you don't have your extra movement. Active skill, restore. Next movement. Okay, so that's that. Okay. And then, of course, there's you. Alright, so standard plan, just have them come towards me. So you can get to about here and attack there. So I need to move back a little bit. Also, Dlit is a is a uh, infantry with ranged unit. Alright, I'm not super familiar with everything uh, that Parn and uh, Ashram can do. I know Ashram has like self-resing usually, but it looks like he doesn't have that in this kit. Alright. Okay, good, I gotta waste that. And she didn't actually move forward, so I didn't have to worry about being rushed. Okay, well that works out. 
Uh, so Ashram gets um if his attack is higher than the enemy, he attacks first. And if I move three spaces, that should make it so I attack first. There we go. So we're just going to do this real quick. Enough. I actually need to deal with Ashra. I should have killed one of them. That's all right. Fine. Well, might be fine. Alright. this. Just a regular attack. Just using troops. Alright, good stuff. Uh, he took damage because of uh, damage reflection from the troops. Deal, it's all done. There we go. Alright, and then. Illustrial. Jade Storm attacks the enemy, dealing 1.3 times. Effect more effective against flyers. Before battle, tur uh, turn two of the enemy's buffs into random debuffs. And then grabs it, gra grants a 20% damage bonus for every converted buff. And then after battle, the train you are standing on is regarded as forest and lasts for one turn. So not too bad. So awaken. Magic of the Emblem Gate envelops it after it leaves the bow. Can it cut through the night until... Okay. It's not scrollable, so if there's more text, I don't know where it is. All right. I think I'll stick with, uh, it's actually a lot of ranged units, so let's try, and it's not a huge deal actually, I have a Uller's Bow. Yeah, I'll just stick with, uh, what would I have right now? Let's see what happens with it. Alright, so yeah, our opponent can cover some ground. Alright. So, key thing here is we're gonna go ahead and use this, expand our attack range. Which will mean. Which means Zerda won't get her buff. I'll move back a step here. 
back a step here, and then let them come to us. Okay. Oh, it's just short. That's alright. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have, uh, I don't think I have, uh, what was it, uh, magic bow on this thing, so I'm not gonna assume I can do melee. Doesn't look like I need it anyway. Easy enough. <laughs> All right, cool. case I actually have room for it so we'll go ahead and swap it in. There you go. Wow she's one of my top eight now. Good for her. All right now for the tough ones. Hopefully I have enough materials. All right so the, I guess I can go ahead and show up what I have. So I'm going a uh, quick step for additional movement and skill instant flash where as long as her HP is high um, and her skill is higher she will strike first uh, which is actually really kind of cool um, I think part of the reason why she's not really used in uh, Apex or at least around the time she came out was probably because uh, the Apex meta around that time was all about AoE debuffs and just being spammed by Rian and such and Tsubame doesn't really have a counter to that but as far as like single target or being just like rushed to be assassinated she gets to strike first in most cases so it's pretty cool uh, and then for just attack skill i have snare uh, i don't think there's really any other attack skills i would like no not really this does more damage and reduces mobility Okay, um, my biggest issue right now is I don't really have good soldiers for her right now um, bandits are only like level six or seven right now for me um, but since I know every, I know the train I'm going to be fighting on is flat, I can go ahead and just swap over to Demon Hunters for now. As you can see, it's much... I, guess I would say much, but like honestly, like I don't get the power of what rating for troops. Like It doesn't make any sense as far as like if I look at the stats and stuff, for some reason it just doesn't match up. But that's alright, you know, power levels are bullshit and all that. Also, apparently... Okay, I don't have skin for that. Anyway, and then for gear-wise, uh, the real thing that's hurting her power right now is I actually have not great a chance on her right now. I got pretty pretty shitty rolls. Uh, but as you can see, I kind of have a standard assassin set up. I don't have a last right, so I gave her a Monkey King vest instead. And then for a class enchant, kind of a standard thing I do. Uh, overall, pretty good. And yeah, let's go ahead and do Awakening. So... Endless slaughter and darkness will not seize a, nin a ninja must know why she fights. Sounds good. Alright, what are our opponents? Uh, Kirakaze, which I have more... S Silver Wolf and Maya. Oh, um, as far as bond requirements are concerned, uh, Subame needs uh, Florentia and Maya, and then 
Florentia needs Subame and Licoris to unlock all of her bonds. Also, uh, Florentia has to fight five times in the arena, so it's not too bad for her. Alright, so yeah, I can just run up and attack you, I'm pretty sure. I have higher everything than you. So I'm just gonna do this. Also, he was. I thought. I, I thought he had a. Usually, when I find that uh, Kirakaze, he usually has uh, range troops for some reason, so I was actually a little shocked that he wasn't attacking him. Uh, you have cold blood, so you can go to that range. Actually, it didn't really matter. I keep forgetting I have that weird hiding ability, which pretty much makes it so these guys can't single target me. So despite having a movement ability, I went ahead and got um, a breeze on this character, on Tsubame, because honestly she needs the mobility. She does have a teleport skill, but it's very linear. Alright, so I didn't get the kill. What the? How do you have higher skill than me? Oh, it's because I didn't have full health. Duh. You have to have 90% health for the... Um, the first strike. That's okay. I can make this. I, I can work with this. So the plan is, I'm going to go this way. Okay, so we'll do this. So Cold Blood's going to trigger next, so I have to actually do something with this. So we're going to do that. Yeah, screwed this up. Yeah, I did. Oh, actually, no. I might be able to do this. Uh, actually, I probably won't. Yeah, I think I, I messed up my position. Yeah, I can't do it. Alright. Let's, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and retreat real quick. I think I might have been able to pull it off, but rather try it this this way and see if I can get it to to happen. Nice. And you're dead. So I'm hidden right now, so what I want to do is stand here. Or not. Well, that works. So let's up our skill. So now I have 30% defense. Also, I get. Uh, archers get bon bonuses to attack 
Arch Archer troops get a bonus to attack when in forest or in defensive terrain, usually. All right, so that leaves behind you, who has an AOE. So that's a problem. Ah, oh, that was too. Fun. That was too close. Ain't into the world yet. But I did lose my first strike. Alright. I do have an ultra magic bow, so I can just do this. Alright. Alright, so it's another skill point, but nothing really I can use it on. Uh, do I have enough hearts? I'm not gonna have enough hearts, am I? I'm one heart short, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, we'll get back to you in a bit. I'll just do it tomorrow, I guess. Uh, and then we go to you. Alright. So, definitely some unique things. Um... She's got some single targets that make it so soldiers can't attack. Um, she has things that specifically uh, heal units and then um, gives a passive heal to soldiers. Her winning strategies are other way to get uh, strategy uh, battle strategies, um, but it requires enemies to die. So usually it's a bit hard to pull off in a in Apex. If you're already get if you're if you're getting stuff from winning strategy, you're probably already winning. Um, also, it provides every time an enemy dies, everyone gets a buff except for HP uh, by 2%, and it stacks up to 10%, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, she actually has access to some pretty good buffs. She has mass attack, mass resist, uh, so she's actually really flexible. Um, she's a healer that actually can buff attack, which is always good. Alright, uh, her gear, as always, her enchants aren't great. Uh, some people build her for clock. Uh, because of her awakening skill. Um, I'm going full moon because I don't like relying on clocks. But as you can see from the enchant numbers, not the best. Uh, class enchants were kind of met, kind of okay, I guess, in some cases. And uh, yeah. Resounding Might. Uh, so this is a range 6, 3 line blast that does AoE damage and heals allies. And it uh, does random debuffs to enemies and cleanses, I think it cleanses up debuff off of allies. Yep, it does. And then if it hits at least two or more enemies, you gain a, um, a battle strategy. So it's one of the few ways you can get a battle strategy besides relying on faction buffs. Are you sure you want to attack me, Chance the, the Chancellor? That's not a very wise decision. Oh, and her troops right now are the Forest Druids? Forest Priests. Uh, do we have a more offensive... Thing we can use. So what's your attack? 514. Yeah, let's do Sky Archers. Just for this one. Alright. Not sure what to expect. Oh great. Sword dance. So I could try attacking. Yeah, actually, holy troops might be a good idea. Though Subami is probably going to kill me. Yeah, holy troops uh, will at least counteract those uh, the demons. So we'll try that first. She has no uh, offensive attack abilities, so she's kind of stuck with what she has. Not bad. And then, after every turn, I get this opportunity to spend my strategies. I'm not going to spend them yet. Oh, that silent wing. That uh, that stealth is going to be a problem. Alright, so every time I kill something I do get a buff and get a strategy out of it. So unfortunately, I'm most likely going to probably be using them for self-healing or something. 
天井は私に任せてくださいNot bad. So, yeah, I could do something like heal myself right now. I'm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal myself. Okay, I'm gonna get silence. That's fine. Apparently, I was. Oh, yeah, I'm immune to silence. And fix damage. Alright. Alright, question is just how am I going to deal with you? You do have a teleport ability. That'll try to steal a buff from me. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. So what's the range of this? Seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on myself. Strategic regroup. It might get stolen, but that's okay. In fact, if you want to steal stuff, you can steal that too. So I did that to force her to reveal herself. Oh, you took my strategic regroup. What a jerk. Oh, so close! There we go. So that was a single target AoE. I don't know if it would have bypassed the, the stealth or not. Okay. And then... I do have enough to actually do this one, so let's do that. I am ready, now show me your determination, my lord. Sure. She has five battle strategies, which means she can do an act again. That's gonna be a problem. here and then a we to there okay so we'll do that that Something like that for now. Yeah. So that's what that's what I was afraid of. I wasn't sure which one she was going to uh, do things with. Hmm. All right. So. So if 
Unfortunately, he's going to be out of range unless I get some kills. And I'm not going to be able to get any kills with what I have right now. Alright, let's see if we can, uh... Okay. I'm not gonna get enough damage from this. That's okay. Go ahead and get this buff up. Then I'll give you extra movement. I was hoping if he was a step closer, that would be better, but not much I can do about it. Alright, so now they can't be healed. Okay. Massive burns. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, the strategic regroup does cleanse off uh, debuffs, but it's a bit too late for that. Alright. Well, I'll be back in a bit once I actually have access to the materials to get Subame taken care of. But before we go, let's... Uh... There you go. And drop that for that. That'll do for now. All right, BRB. All right. Um, I actually went and did a, a, a normal difficulty map that had this drop, and usually you don't do that because the drop rates in normal maps is abysmal. Uh, but I actually got it on my first try, so uh, on the first sweep. So I'm good to go. Let's do this. For that lord's sake, I must keep a sharp blade so that I can cut through all that stands in my in the way. Defeat all enemies. Oh yeah, I haven't. I don't think I went over her actual uh, three cost ability. We'll do that after this. Okay. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's essentially made and assassins. So I guess assassins versus assassins here. Uh, what's she using? Shadow Steel and Shadow Raid, good for her. I prefer to keep my first strikes. Also, she has Shinobis, which do extra fixed damage. Alright. So, big thing here is the AoE. It's five blocks, so... One, two, three, four, five. That seems to be the situation here. So I could do something like, I don't know, that. One, two, three, four, five. And then 
Should be able to go here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I should be able to go here. Down one more. And, uh... Actually, I'll ha have him stay right there to see if he can bait out the AoE. Nope. That's okay. Okay, no buff stolen. And now I can hit all of them. Alright, what's your skill? 221, mine is 393. So, yeah. I should be able to just kill you. Do this and see how it goes. Okay. You do fine in melee, don't you? Oh, you don't have melee troops. Okay, so you're good to go. So yeah, let's see if I can deal with your maid. You have first strike, so should be able to just do this. Good stuff. Okay, two on four. Fortunately, died, but that's alright. Awesome. Alright, we get Killing Machine. Alright, Killing Machine. Uh, ignores Guard, attack, uh, attacks enemy directly uh, for 1.4 times, increases crit by 20%. Uh, if you successfully kill the target, you can move another two blocks. After taking action, if there are no enemies within two ring radius, gain hidden shadows, cannot be a target again. Um, skills last one turn. Wow. Okay, yeah. So usually hidden shadow doesn't proc if you don't damage that round, but this is an exception. But you have to be... Essentially, if you get the kill and move two steps away, you'll probably be able to stealth. Granted, it's pretty easy to remove, you just have to move next to the person, or hit them with an AoE. Alright. The only complaint, I guess, I have about the animation is should have her eyes change colors, because that's apparently a thing. Alright, well, I definitely will use it. It's an upgrade from Snare. And that'll put us to uh, around that much power. And like I mentioned, I'll probably be working on bandits. I don't think. So we got bandits. Yeah, I think bandits are my best bet. But yeah, comparing the stats, I mean, bandits do more damage and have higher attack. They have more health, too. The only thing they don't have is defense and magic defense. So I don't know why it's they're considered weaker. All right. Well, that's uh, all the awakenings, and so that'll be it. Uh, as always, there'll be more Apex th through the uh, next few weeks, and uh, eventually 
another month will pass and we'll do all this over again. So, I am the Depressed Dior, this was Langers Mobile, see you guys later.